Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about HLA typing. HLA typing is also known as human leukocyte antigen typing. It's a process used to identify specific variations in the human leukocyte antigens. That is HLA gene. These genes encode for proteins on the surface of cells that play a crucial role in the immune system. HLA molecules are essential for distinguishing cell from non-self and they are responsible for presenting foreign substances to immune cells, triggering an immune response. As we know, the HLA system is highly diverse and there are many different variations of the HLA genes which vary among individuals. The variations in the HLA genes influence how the immune system responds to pathogens, viruses and other foreign substances. HLA typing is essential in various medical contexts, particularly in organ transplantation, bone marrow transplantation and the diagnosis and management of certain autoimmune diseases. So why HLA typing? During a bone marrow transplant, the donor's bone marrow might be considered as foreign body and thereby rejected by the recipient's immune system. More the mismatch, higher the chances of rejection. HLA gene sequence determines the production of proteins that can lead to this rejection. And hence, and hence it is important to match the immune signature of the potential donor with that of the recipient. As we have seen earlier, in the context of organ or bone marrow transplantation, HLA typing is performed to determine the compatibility between the donor and the recipient. The closer the HLA match between the donor and recipient, the lower the risk of rejection after transplantation. For example, in bone marrow transplantation, finding a matched HLA donor is cru crucial to prevent graft versus host disease and ensure a successful transplant. HLA typing is usually carried out using molecular techniques such as polymerase chain reaction and DNA sequencing to identify the specific alleles, gene variants present in an individual's HLA genes. These typing methods help to identify the HLA class 1 that is A, B and C and class 2 that is HLA DR, DQ and DP alleles which are most relevant for immune responses and transplantation compatibility. Overall, HLA typing plays a vital role in personalized medicine, transplantation and understanding the genetic basis of various immune-related disorders. HLA testing is challenging due to its high polymorphic nature and high levels of sequence homology between the loci. Using conventional typing methods such as serology, SSP, SSO and SPT, are laborious and time consuming which may not resolve ambiguities between homologous regions at allelic resolutions. Besides this, different HLA loci share nucleotide sequences which are difficult to map with conventional techniques. And hence, NGS is used uh, for HLA typing nowadays. This allows a single nucleotide based sequencing to derive an accurate map of each HLA gene loci. HLA typing can be performed using various methods. Each uh, has its own advantages and limitations. The choice of method depends on factors such as purpose of testing, level of resolution required and the available resources. These are the some of uh, the common methods for detection of HLA typing. Uh, the traditional method includes serological typing. And the molecular methods are sequencing specific oligonucleotide probing, sequence specific primers, bead based methods, Sanger sequencing and next generation sequencing. Serological typing was one of the earliest methods used to detect HLA antigens. It involves mixing the patient's blood sample with specific antibodies that bind to HLA antigens. If the antigens are present, they will form visible clumps, that is agglutination. The advantages are low cost, rapid and the age old traditional method. 
लिमिटेश अनुसार अच्छा क्रूड मेथड इट इज बेस्ड ऑन प्रोटीन डिटेक्शन सो इट मे लीड्स टू इन एक्यूरेट टाइपिंग बिकॉज प्रोटीन बाइंडिंग हैपन्स टू मोर देन वन सीरो टाइप सीक्वेंस स्पेसिफिक ऑलिगो न्यूक्लियोटाइड हाइब्रिडाइजेशन मेथड दिस इज एस एस ओ पी इट्स ए हाइब्रिडाइजेशन बेस्ड मेथड दट यूज ए सीक्वेंस स्पेसिफिक ऑलिगो न्यूक्लियोटाइड प्रोब्स टू डिटेक्ट स्पेसिफिक एच एल एलिन्स DNA should be extracted from the patient sample and will be amplified using PCR and the amplified DNA is then exposed to a panel of probes each probe is designed to target a specific HLA allele if a probe finds a complementary sequence in the amplified DNA it indicates the presence of the corresponding HLA allele advantages of it's a efficient technique the disadvantages are it cannot account for unrecorded alleles there may be hybridization errors that can happen and need to know the target sequence prior to designing the probes and you cannot face sequence specific primers it is also a pcr based method that uses specific primers to amplify specific hla alleles in this approach the primers are designed to be complementary to specific hla sequences if the target allele is present in the patient's dna the primer will amplify that allele during pcr the presence or absence of the pcr product indicates the presence of specific hla alleles like that of a uh, previous method ssop so ssp provides intermediate to high resolution and is used for both class 1 and class 2 hla typing so we have seen ssp and sso uh, pcr based method these assays are uh, these pcrs are uh, integrated with the luminix based platforms so these methods combine luminix based methods combine pcr ssp or sso with luminix bead technology for multiplex detection different bead sets coated with probes specific to various hla alleles are used and the pcr products are hybridized with the beads luminex based methods allow the detection of multiple hla alleles in a single reaction improving the throughput and efficiency sanger sequencing is a traditional dna sequencing method that can be used for hla typing at high resolution it is also called sequencing by termination SBT. So it involves sequencing of the PCR amplified HLA regions to identify the specific alleles present. Sanger sequencing can provide detailed HLA typing, but it is uh, more time-consuming and uh, expensive compared to NGS and labor-intensive. And different HLA alleles uh, sharing similar sequences. could not be aligned properly by using sanger sequencing method but the advantages are it can be used to sequence regions of interest and uh, the resolution is quite good but and the coverage is only 2x next generation sequencing is a high throughput sequencing method that allows for the simultaneous analysis of multiple hla genes and their alleles this technique provides high resolution and comprehensive hla typing capable of identifying rare and novel alleles also ngs is uh, also valuable in research settings and uh, when detailed hla information is required for transplantation or disease association studies the only limitation is uh, the data analysis part so to conclude the choice of hla typing methods depends on factors like uh, the required level of resolution the number of samples to be tested and the available laboratory resources sbd that is sanger sequencing and ngs are the most uh, comprehensive and accurate methods for high resolution hla typing well serological typing and pcr ssp are more uh, straight forward and cost effective options for low resolution typing thank you